What's up? This is my first video uh, being made on this new phone. I have been without a phone, so without access to internet and all that for two weeks. And it <clears throat> was not bad, really. Uh, I like, yeah, I'm just not someone. It's weird. I use like 80 gigs of data a month. But I can also do without, no problem. It's a really no struggle. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, that's why there hasn't really been any videos, uh, uploaded in a while. I just woke up. And I had a bunch of videos, uh, on my phone, but the phone got broken, fell out of my pocket, whole screen got cracked, I didn't have a phone protection, uh, it fell out of my pocket and stuff numerous times, and it just would not work, nothing would let me select, uh, we could not get, uh, the, like, SIM card or any of that stuff out, uh, to transfer data, the stuff over, pictures, videos, so those are lost, nothing there was, like, super super important that I can remember at the moment I did have a lot of videos saved um some just pet videos and uh probably like 15 more lifting videos uh but they uh all everything on that can be duplicated and uh done better anyways That's kind of why if I do something, kind of like the 500 Zercher Squad, if I do something like that, I upload it immediately. That's why I do that. Uh, those more important lifts that I've been training for, I get those into many different places as fast as I can because I don't want to lose that. I've, I've already lost a handful of them due to mysterious reasons. And it haunts me to this day because some of those lifts I lost... I can't duplicate. All I can say is what I've done. So, it's aggravating uh, when you have no evidence, when you recorded evidence, but you have no evidence due to mysterious reasons. Normally, I would assume YouTube would send a notification, hey, your video can't be posted, or, but these videos are posted, but they're just gone. I can't find them. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, uh, as of right now, I don't have any lifting videos on this phone. Uh, I have not, I don't think I've been to the, I can't, I'd have to look at my little workout journal to know specifically, but I don't think I've been to the gym in six weeks. I, I know, yeah, six, I'd say six weeks. Or f five weeks at the, uh, maybe five weeks. Um, cause yeah, I didn't, I couldn't go at all around Thanksgiving. Uh, the week prior, I don't know if I went or not. So like at the earliest I went was like middle November from now. I'd have to look to know. Uh, my gym membership has expired for the year. But, I will renew it. Uh, I'll uh, pay for another year. Right now, it's just no point because I'm not going to the gym right now. Uh, I won't be going for like a, another week or so. Uh, I have my little home gym set up, sort of. Uh, where I'm doing a lot of work with bands and uh, just what I can here. And the odd objects, the weight balls, the sandbags. <clears throat> right now, just work it over time and don't really have time for it. And uh, I, I like the overtime in the winter, just the, I, I, I like the cold. I'm a natural, uh, warm-blooded person, I guess. I, I just enjoy the cold. It, it, I like to train in the cold, work in the cold. And it's not that I'm 
don't get cold or anything, but I can always cover up. I can always wear a coat. It's just aggravating for me when I'm outside and it's anything above 60 degrees and I'm sweating my ass off and there's nothing more I can strip. Nothing more I can take off and away I can cool off. And I don't get like overheated or anything like that. It's just aggravating to constantly have freaking salty sweat rolling down you. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm picky, but it's just aggravating to have that freaking every waking moment of your active day, except when you're going to bed. You know, inside, at home. Yeah, it's aggravating. Um, because I'm someone, I don't like grease or oils or, uh, all over me. Man, I look horrible. <laughs> but yeah, I just woke up and need to get a haircut. Um, <clears throat> need to shave. My face is more chunky due to the weight gain. I got up to 209. Whew, I, uh due to the home gym workouts and uh wasn't uh working overtime the weight was just kind of packing on right now i think i'm like 10 pounds less than that i, I literally like starved myself for like three days because it's like 209 is a bit too much let's uh let's cut out the food and i know it's not but yeah that's what i do i told myself i'm gonna stick around the right around 200 hover around there 198 to 202 is kind of the range i want to cruise at because anything beyond that the the body fat it gets a little excessive for me because i've been 230 before and oh that was horrible 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 i'm not look i already don't even like being 200 in terms of just daily life i don't I, uh, I'm, truthfully, uh, even, like, if I could pick my body weight to daily life, yeah, mid-150s, even though that means losing a lot of muscle and stuff, that's where I feel most comfortable, very flexible, mobile, life is just so much better, mid-150s right now. Because uh, I was, I got down to 158 in uh, the first half of 2020. I forgot what month it was specifically, but I was burning so much weight. I couldn't eat enough to keep it on. It just was falling off. But yeah, I got down to 158, and that was the best I have ever felt in my life. Everything was just feeling great. Uh, I was just... I was very strong. <clears throat> everything, uh, strength, endurance, uh, everything was kind of on point then. But yeah, uh, was, I do not need motivation to go to the gym right now. I am, I want to, I want to. It's just, I don't go in the daytime where there's tons of people and you, I, I, I don't just do one exercise, four sets, I, uh, I'll be doing like two and three things at once, and I I can't do that. I mean, I can barely do one thing at once. Like if I use a cable machine, typically I'll be at the cable machine for hours because I'll have like four or five different exercises, and then I'll be doing other exercises while resting, and uh, I'll be at a cable machine for like two and a half hours it's not that i'm not getting anything done i mean total in that two and a half hours i'll i'll get like 30 sets done uh between other things so i might go and grab some uh, do some band twist and then some calf raises and then i'll come back and do some uh, arm wrestling, cable work, that kind of thing. But anyways, this is the update. Um, 
Overall, I'm not injured. Everything's fine. I have been dealing with left foot issues, which is definitely for me packing on weight. Um, it is hard for me to like run, jump, anything like that. It's hard. Um, which is why I do not want to pack on any more weight. Truthfully, again, I keep using that word. In a way, I would want to pack on more weight because I know I could easily lose the weight. But I just don't want it to get out of, out of hand. It has before. And I'm keeping myself right here at 200 because any other weight, I'm not packing on more muscle. I'm just packing on more blubber. Uh... I've been lifting for years and years and years, and the heaviest I can get and look lean, moderately, like, look good, is, like, mid-180s, and I, that, that is kind of, like, the big plan, is I will cut back down to mid-180s. Right now, I'm just trying to get used to holding more weight, because I was in the mid-160s. Uh, right now I'm cruising at 200. I'm not force feeding myself. Nothing like that. Uh, really, it's just the milk. I mean, all I got to do is like cut out the milk and slowly but surely I'd get down mid-180s. But yeah, right now I'm just kind of enjoying my diet. I'm not having any tummy issues. Nothing like that at all. I feel fine. Uh, I'll say this. The two weeks I didn't have a phone, my sleep was the best it's been for long time um it definitely had some contributions to me not sleeping i guess the i, I hear about the uh, blue light or something like that <clears throat> but yeah the last couple weeks have sucked i'll say this I, i've missed going to the gym i love using the machines and i love it uh, i like lifting heavy uh, and for the last month I've done, except for like my chest and shoulders and arms, but from like my back and legs, I've done just a bunch of tiddly stuff. So, I mean, I'm not saying the stuff I do isn't working, but it's, I mean, grabbing a 150 pound ball, putting it on my shoulder, doing lunges with it. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard. I mean, I'm not saying you can't get strong like that, but it's uh, it, it's working the body in a different way. It's more this, to the point where it's a lot more stabilizing going on, where it takes away from the ability to get stronger. I mean, there's guys that can squat 200 pounds while balancing on a medicine ball or something like that, but those same guys can't do 250 pounds without all that so uh there's kind of a point and it, i think that's the perfect balance you have a big heavy object put on your shoulder switch shoulders and or put on the back a sandbag like behind your head do some squats the thing is it's not going to be challenging for the legs it's going to be challenging for your torso in my experience, more than the legs. Just holding it there, stabilizing, not losing balance, that sort of thing. But, uh, yeah, there will be more videos. I don't, this is it. I did have a stockpile of them. Those are lost. Nothing. Well, you know what? There is one that I do want. It was uh, some inclined dumbbell presses single arm i have a video from years ago i did like one tens and i think left arm i got like six reps right arm got like eight or something this time i got 10 reps with a single arm inclined dumbbell with the 110 with my left arm and on my right arm i got for 12 so yeah that's probably the video at the top of my head that I'm going to be missing. 
and not sure if I'll ever beat that. I mean, I want to get stronger, but the thing is, is, I mean, I'm no genetic freak or anything. I do have my limits, and if I'm not getting bigger, if this is it, then I am might be pretty close. Uh, all I can say is next time I do it, I'll have like a 115 for the right arm and maybe a 112 for the left arm. I have these little one pound weights. And next time I do it will be like a month and a half, two months from now. So that's uh, maybe. I don't know. I'm doing all these home workouts. I have like home specified workouts and gym specific workouts based on what I can do at either or. So the home ones are half of its bands because I got all these different resistance bands and I can control the tension better. And I mean, you can make bands challenging at any movement. You can go buy you several hundred pound tension bands and do some banded deadlifts with them or squats or you can do it. I'm going to do it. Um, <clears throat> I'll buy them as I need them. Uh, but yeah, it's something else I'm experimenting with. I haven't really seen anyone else do that as far as I know. I just like trying things. I'm not expecting any miracle differences, but I am a kind of like a scientist with this stuff. Uh, more of a scientist, creative type person at heart, so I like trying new things, figuring out better ways to do things. Uh, if you do the same stuff over and over and over and over and over again, you're not really learning anything new, you're just doing, you get better at doing that same thing. So, I mean, hey, there's tons of people with more training experience in years than me, but have they actually done more? Have they actually tried more things than I have? And, uh, I mean, the people I've met that have more experience than me, there are so many things they haven't even done. So, I, I try and try everything within a certain limit. I'm, I don't have any plans of going on a thousand mile bike ride that's a little extreme. Maybe a hundred mile bike ride, that is something I was thinking about. But a thousand miles, yeah, I'm not. Nothing that extreme. <laughs> but anyways, uh, that's it.